This is my first opera, yes. Uh, usually my work is more in the sphere of dance and dance theatre. It feels like quite an organic process in the way that, you know, uh, the, the dancers are always in the room and um, I've approached it very much like a dance show, even with the singers. And um, so, you know, we start a warm up physically together in the mornings and then we, we sort of create the movement first and then we um, bring the, the singing into that and then the music and sort of build that way, so from the body up. Orfeo and Eurydice is a very special kind of opera. It's, it's called a reform opera. Before these reform operas, you had the dialogue, which is in the recitatives, and then you had the arias, which just where the singers were emoting. Look in this opera, for the first time, tries to mix those two together so that there's more of a constant flow through the whole piece. My character is Orfeo. He's a character from Greek mythology. He marries Eurydice, and on their wedding day, she is stung by an asp and dies, and so is taken into the underworld. And he's so distraught that the gods take pity on him and allow him the opportunity to go and rescue her. It's Orfeo against his demons, it's against his own community, what they offer to him and what they take away. It's uh, his worst fears and nightmares he's confronted with them and he's also confronted with heavenly bliss, which he turns out not to be so happy with. Love, jealousy, revenge, loss, I think that's something that's going to resonate with the human condition no matter when you're listening to it. Music, dance, rhythm and words are all equally important for the first time in opera. So it's, it's, it's revolutionary in a way, but it feels very easy. and It feels like this is how opera really should be. You know, we all go down into the underworld together and then, and then a likeness emerges out of that. And that's my hope that the audience will also feel that.